I hadn't really thought to ask my dad much about his past, where he's from. You know, he's just my dad. For defending our way of life, we have been called greenies, terrorists, and traitors. Personally, I have been put in prison and in solitary confinement for this reason. Nowhere in the world is primary forest disappearing faster than it is in Sarawak. My name is Ashley Duong. I am the director of A Time to Swim, a feature documentary that is filmed in partly in Canada, but mostly in Sarawak, Malaysia. It follows an exiled indigenous community leader as he returns home for the first time in 25 years. My mom was worried that my dad would get arrested if he returned. If I stay away from activism and stick to my cultural research, it should be fine. I follow Mutang Urut, who I just met in Montreal. He lives in a very suburban life. He has like two amazing children and a French Canadian wife. And then when I learned that he was this activist leader who, you know, spoke at the United Nations and all around the world about the Calibit in Borneo, I just I found his character really interesting. And then he told me that he was exiled 25 years ago for um, doing these kind of like organizing his tribe to these kind of bad blockades of the timber roads and he was thrown in jail in solitary confinement and then when he was out on bail facing re-arrest he was helped by a couple of Canadians to escape to Canada. He spent a lot of time with the First Nations people in BC and Haida Gwaii so then when he was going back to Sarawak he felt like it was prophetic because he could see a lot of the things that had happened in Canada happening to his tribe. So I see that there's a lot of commonalities between indigenous struggles throughout the world. We even have people from within the community who are now working with outsiders to take away this land. He hasn't been home. He hasn't hung out with his family. His children do not know about their indigenous roots and he wanted to show them that. And plus there was a hydroelectric dam project that was threatening to destroy his homeland. I am being dragged into the middle of what I started about 30 years ago. Passing on your cultural roots to your children is very difficult and I explore that in this film because Mutang's children, they grow up in Canada and they don't really know much about his culture and I relate to that because, you know, I'm Vietnamese and my family is always worried. They're like, oh well, you know, maybe you'll lose your your Vietnamese roots or not understand it. But then I tell them, at least there's a Vietnam to go back to, at least I can learn about my culture when I go back to Vietnam. For somebody like Mutang and for some indigenous groups where their land is facing colonialization, facing environmental degradation, they don't really have that home to go to. So the, the question of preserving culture is just so much more important. So one of the biggest goals of my film is to contribute to you know young urban Calibits being proud of their culture, one that they might be estranged from. That's, that's Mutang's goal. And that's why I wanted to, to, do, to um, align myself with those goals too. And I see that there's already an impact. The trailer, it's already gotten hundreds and thousands of views, thousands of shares. And most of those shares are in Sarawak. And most of them, um, when I read the comments, it's a lot of young people being like, we, sh like, we should protect our culture. I'm proud of like, Mutang. I, I want to preserve my land. And that is very heartwarming to me and for my participants to see that there's this revival happening in Sarawak. So it's already starting to have an impact. I, I'm going to show my film to the community in June. And um, I'm nervous about that, but it, it will be very important. I filmed for five years there on five different trips. So I've established relationships there that are deeply important to me. And it's really become a big part of my life. It's, it's changed my life. This is Ashley Young. I directed A Time to Swim and you're watching FNX.